the world almost ended. Or at least people thought that. January of 2000. 1999, the Y2K issue was hitting the surface, as you see here. These uh, medical delivery systems are in trouble, uh, that they are not prepared to respond uh, to the Y2K issues. I'm not going to fly with the year 2000 problem. Uh, it's too dangerous. 38% of the nation's airports don't have a Y2K plan. Before the world was dependent on computers, everything was done by paper. But throughout the 90s, when computers were more prevalent in our society, everything was done on computers. Finance, doctors, everything. I'm Bill Gates. In this video, you're going to see the future. All the computer systems were set to a single digit, which means it couldn't process even if it hit the year 2000, or so they thought. Many of us were happy slaves to our computers, but our new masters had a trick. What? I don't know who wrote that for National Geographic. That was a little out of pocket. People were stockpiling food and water and everything they could to live on because they thought everything was going to crash. People rush grocery stores. I'd say 30,000 flashlights in the last uh, month. Bought supplies. This man bought 30,000 flashlights. Why? Water and gas. Are you feeling The thing that gets me here is that everyone, for the most part, was afraid. You had cops in the city. They were all preparing. And you had doomsday preppers all preparing. The one that gets me is this guy. He just bought a bunch of soup and, and canned goods. There's nothing going to happen. What are you basing that on? Nobody knows. In the end, we did reach the year 2000. Nothing catastrophic happened. All the computer systems were fine. No one got hurt. And we're all just, I guess, happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This is my kind of first long wave video. I know it's only like two minutes, but thank you. Happy New Year, everyone. Be safe.